Hi, I'm Sophie, co-founder of The Living House, an online interior design company, and we help families create a beautiful home that is practical and to their budget. We're going to be answering our most asked questions we get from our customers and followers. Where should I place lighting in my kitchen extension? So kitchen extensions, we are seeing and working on so many of these big open plan projects um, that might be a living, dining, and obviously the kitchen. So it's all about zoning the areas and lighting is such a good way to do this. So we always recommend if you are putting an island in your kitchen, make sure the lights balance with this. So we recommend normally an average size island would recommend three pendants overhead to really make a feature and it helps to zone the area of the room. Make sure the size is right because it can. we can often see that the lights are a bit too small. So we always say to go a bit larger. And then in other areas, so spotlights, they're really good for directional lighting. And then if you have a dining area in the room as well, a pendant over the dining table if you can, depending if the ceilings are sloping, really helps to zone that space and adds more of an atmosphere because you could just have the dining area light on rather than all the others. And it really helps to zone the areas and bring it all together. And lighting can really make or break a room. So be careful with your choices. And of course, always ask an expert if you need some help. How should I decorate my downstairs loo? So with your downstairs loo, we always say to our customers and on Instagram and blogs to be bold. It's a room that not everyone goes in. And when you have guests who are most likely be using that room, it's like a surprise when they open the door and it is a bit different and it's bold and it's a bit more exciting and fun. So we recommend wallpaper usually. Um, that's a great way to add that pop of pattern and don't be scared to just do one wall, go on all the walls. Your downstairs loo isn't going to be that big normally. So be a bit more bolder, wallpaper every single wall and it will just feel so much more interesting and designed as well. But it doesn't have to be wallpaper. It could be paneling like the tongue and groove paneling that we're seeing a lot at the moment at half height. Um, you could just paint it or you could put a wallpaper above that as well. And then another fun thing for a downstairs loo, if you're not keen on wallpaper or paneling, is a gallery wall. So if you've got a collection of prints um, that are a bit quirky maybe, or just really nice prints, put them on one of the walls as a gallery wall, or we've even some, some, seen some amazing downstairs loos where they're literally all over on every wall, which looks fantastic. So one big tip is be bold, don't be scared, it's the downstairs loo, it's a place where you can be a little bit different in your home. Where do you recommend for statement lighting? For statement lighting, there is quite a few places we are our like go-tos. So Lights and Lamps, they are such a lovely company and quite affordable, but it's something a bit different as well. Um, where else? B&Q, really affordable and you wouldn't expect it, it could look a lot higher end. Pookie, we love Pookie so much. So if you want something a bit eclectic, a bit traditional, um, a little bit glam maybe, they're perfect. They are the higher end price point, but they are beautiful. And Dunalm, Dunalm's really lovely, um, especially their, I love their table lamps, but for statement lighting, it's really worth a look. And also, John Lewis. We always have a look on John Lewis for our customers because they do so many brands now, not just their own. So it's definitely worth a look on there too. But if for statement lights, go bold. Don't be afraid to be a bit different because lighting can really make or break the room. What size rug should I get for my living room? When it comes to rugs, we love rugs at the living house. We try to add them into every design because they always help to bring the room together add a cosy feel, especially if you've got wooden floors or tiles. And yeah, they just look great. <laughs> so for rugs, we always recommend going large. We have seen so many times where a rug is floating in the middle of the room and it's just too small and it just looks lost and doesn't link to anything. It might have a coffee table on, but it doesn't make the room sing. It doesn't look right. So go large, make sure the front two feet of your sofa or sofas are sitting on the rug. So this helps anchors the space. The rug is no longer floating. It is big enough to cover out the two front feet of the sofa. And it looks better. It helps zone the room. 
And rugs can be a great way to really up the cosy factor and add warmth to your space. When should you start planning the furniture layout when you're working on an extension? We always say to any customers that come to us is to get our help early when it comes to the layout. So start looking at what options you could do and what most importantly, what you actually need from the room. So is it a family space? Do you need storage, um, a large sofa to all curl up on? You have a lot of friends around, you need a large dining table. Should it be extendable? Should it not? You want a reading nook, can that fit? The lighting, is there space for table lamps, floor lamps? Again, you might need floor sockets because you want a sofa in the middle and you want some lamps, but you obviously don't want an ugly cable going all across the room. So we always say furniture layout, when you've had the architect's plans, then look at furniture layout and see what can be done, what you can get most out of the space. This is what we always work on first when we're doing a customer project is the layout, what options are available, how best can the space be used. Obviously you want it to look beautiful, but it also needs to be practical. And if you can't fit the size sofa you need in the space or it's not gonna work in that area, it needs obviously adapting and we can help you find the best layout for the room. We hope you've enjoyed our first YouTube video and that we've gave you some tips that you can take away and use in your own home. We would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and you'll be seeing lots more from us soon.